Hi Libras, today is your reading for career and love. It's a long form video. We get four cards for your career. We also get another set of seven for your love life. It's going to be an extended video, so I just want to let you know I'm already going to begin hand shuffling here because it takes some time. Uh, we're going to get started for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra, and the North Node. What do we need to see here, please? A couple cards to start. Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, all right? And let me see if I can shine the light a little bit closer to her. She wears a huge floral garland on her head, a lot of stars as well. She's also, of course, pregnant in this uh, in this picture. She might even be fertile, Librans. And today is going to be a slower style reading, so I'm going to explain the cards very deeply to you. Eight of Wands, just turned it over right now, and the Queen of Pentacles. If you notice in all of your cards, there's a lot of green from her dress here and the Taurus Libra and energy. Also, the Queen of Pentacles is in green. You are very highly astute and intelligent at this time. You're picking up things easier. The energy might feel less dense as well as you go into today, Saturday and Sunday, even Monday, and you're getting messages, communication. Some of you already, already received past energy. You're linked to the past in some way. Maybe some people are reaching out. The Eight of Wands is here for Friday. So what's read with the Eight of Wands, please, for a Libra? Communication may be even at work, the High Priestess and the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is your energy. It's Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising energy. It's about breaks, relaxation. Some of you could have gone from a season of like breaking for too long or maybe a long relaxation period here and the High Priest. So beautiful, we have more Pisces entering your reading. Libra Pisces Moon, potentially, that we have on the channel. And hello, if that's you. And we also have this beautiful Empress. You stay in a really good vibration on this channel. I've said it many, many times. You guys don't show up in like Two of Swords energy. You don't show up as a current Five of Swords. So it's something about your pentacle people recognize. Might be self-abundance, taking care of yourself. Maybe even here, your health is a priority, Okay. Messages could be coming because at this time you are looking remarkable. Uh, people pick up on this as an attraction energy. So Eight of Wands is also here. What's read with that is the High Priest. People might be consulting you. That's the word coming in as consult or maybe even help. Why is the High Priest here paired with the Eight of Wands? What is that? That's beautiful energy. I can't even pick up on it because it's so unique. Four of Wands. They view you as the real deal, commitment energy. I think it's taken a long time for people to give you your flowers. It's something about that, even close connections with friends. It could potentially be coworkers. People view you as someone who's dependable. Four of Wands is huge. It's also a manifestation energy. It's really golden too, if you notice the card. Uh, you're stepping up in the eyes of others, Libra. Queen of Pentacles also. This is what I call a support card for that and the Empress, goodness. So it's a lot of support energy. Where did this break come from? What's the, what was the Four of Swords? The Ten of Pentacles, is that 10? Yeah. The break came from maybe a season of a lot of earnings or abundance, or you accrued this in the recent past. I feel like it's even spiritual health, the Ten of Pentacles. This can be a very abundant person in the soul, working on healing day to day, and might even be an artful way that you heal. For some of you, it's practicing even physical techniques of that. What comes to mind is like um, candle work, maybe even acupuncture. You work very hard, okay, to even appear on the outside that you are. It's not. It's almost like you came from a period of sadness. Maybe I'm picking up on a little depression. The Ten of Pentacles is how you rose from that. And it's very dependable now with others, okay? So people are viewing you in the Four of Wands. Can I make a connect to that? Can I make a connect to the Four of Wands, please? The Six of Swords, it, we just said it a while ago. The Six of Swords speaks about somebody who works proactively. Maybe even here you were getting over somebody. Like I feel like there were sentimental moments for you, Libran. Uh, Six of Swords would be your technical healing now in the current, okay? There's so many ads this morning. I tried not to play the Christmas music, but I feel like it's punchier and it puts all of us in a good mood. So I wanted to add it for Friday's flavor. 
Six of Swords, can I see that please? So that's here because you're working on it in the current. It's one of your functional duties as a person. And we see you have a you have a decision to make with judgment. Another green energy. The Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, High Vibrational, and the Judgment card are very much in this green state. It could be also, Libra, you're learning that there's something in you that keeps, it's a voice that keeps saying you're on the right track. What you assumed was true. So your decision might involve actually maybe other lives here. Maybe you're connected to making a bigger decision for the whole gander, okay? This could be a family decision as well with judgment. Um, and it will affect other people beside yourself. That's what I'm picking up. Temperance is also on the desk. What else are we not seeing? Uh, we're not seeing the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You're not seeing this incoming information. You could have had dreams recently. When you are ascending, your dreams are far more, not only are they punchier, but they, they carry a statement in your dream state. So there's something here linking me to tell you, Libras, that it could be something that you're blithely kind of ignoring in the background that actually provides you support. That's a family card, the Ten of Cups. You could be reaching out to friends too. But I see that this decision has been maybe even keeping you up at night with the Judgment card. Okay, we have a lot of um, continually a lot of Mars energy. You're seeing the Towers. Uh, you're also seeing Scorpio, the Death card recently in your reads. The Ten of Cups be career. What is that? What is the Ten of Cups on the physical plane? What's the Ten of Cups? Please and thank you. It's a little different reading today. I, it is about your career. Some of the, some of you put your hours together. Maybe asking for increasing time to be at work as well. OT. Um, I feel here someone's watching you too. There's um, a couple of pages. Page of Wands. Page of Cups. So the seven of pentacles is almost like, I feel like people watch you even hard at work. There's something about admiring that, the way you earn your pentacles, uh, maybe even here, how you allocate time. Can I see more career cards? Four of swords. You could have taken a break from a previous career too or dropped it in the past. Some of you could have found something new as well. The four of swords is a long relaxation and it's also Libra energy. Four of swords twice in your reading so far. Let's go back to this Knight of Swords. I just took a quick glance and I want to address it. This Knight of Swords is also in uh, Twin Flame readings right now and overall couples reads. It's actually the ending conclusion card in most of those readings if you guys watch Libras. I feel here like you, you set a new tune. You march to the beat of your own drum. This Knight of Swords, although they come off as somebody very urgent to talk to you, I also feel like they're in admiration of you. There is an admiration from this Knight of Swords. If you look in the two cards, it's almost like contacting this person that's been cocooned in this nest, okay? For my feminines, this person wants to contact you, maybe for some advice, okay? Advice or even consult you for some time here to get together. Now on the surface energy, you think reunion and reconciliation, the Knight of Swords is an air energy. It comes in very quick for contact. Usually it's contact. So let's see a little bit more career. Let's add career. There's also a Cancerian reading in the video bar. Eight of Pentacles. So the eight is coming out here in the Light Seers deck. You have been really focused on making sure bills are paid. Also, everybody is okay. If you have dependents here, or people really look to you as a responsible source. Some of you are, because I recognize on Libra Light readings, many of you are parents. Many of you take care of your own parents. So there's something here about being heavily focused. Maybe that's where all your time has actually been. And the star again, the star repeats on Friday. We even had it last Friday. So it's not like you move from this high vibrational energy. And I'm so proud of you if you definitely resonate with the Queen of Pentacles today and the star. There's something very good that you're doing for your health, your overall, overall well-being, excuse me. I do think, too, there's a little bit of emotions, but you tend to stray away from them. You don't give them, you know, an overage of time. That's also very good for you. Can I see the star, please, with light tears? What's the star energy? Or you have attachments to an Aquarian, the Nine of Cups. You're single, happy, and abundant. Some of you are containing those resources in your heart. You are not yet showing them to people who don't deserve it, too. People who don't deserve to know you're in the Nine of Cups, genuinely. 
So let's get details on that. The Nine of Cups for the second day in a row. Can I see this very, very compelling energy of the Nine of Cups? Okay, so you walked away from somebody. That's also what I felt, relationship type energy from a particular person attached to you. Maybe who's been attached to you for some time. I feel like with that, and you see it goes from the eight to the nine, there's an immediate sequence here. You have learned the lessons and spirits saying you graduated from that. This might surprise you. This might surprise yourself. An escalation to of mat being mature, maturation here too. I also pick up that your six of swords is very important because it lends more beauty to your story. Even my masculines on the channel, each and every day you see improvements. And I have to keep saying it because it can run its course in videos where it kind of loses its flavor. But today your healing is rather significant. He's steering this in a whole new direction, the seal from the mermaid tarot. Okay. I look down to at the romance angels. Don't forget to ask for support with let your friends help you. That's like a three of cups type of card as well. I just looked down here really quick and I wasn't even planning to do romance angels for you guys. Thank you. The conclusion is the two of pentacles and that knight of swords that kept kicking. You have it here in a different deck. Walking away from a particular past chapter here with the eight of cups is going to open up a new door. Now, the new doors can be scary because maybe we're not ready to enter it yet. That might be where the nostalgia sits with you, Librans, because if you're not ready to go to the next step, sometimes you wait in that area of kind of looking back at the past. And I think you're just about there in the story is right before you get the great reveal with the moon there. She's looking at it. Um, that might be something to you. Maybe if you see the moon card this weekend, that actually might be the meaning. Okay, and we see that the Knight of Swords, I feel like it's a person. I feel like the Knight of Swords is not just information, but it's something that you are compelled to know. It's an energy that you'd like to know and unwrap. And some of you already know what this is. It could be attached to a relationship, a new person. The Knight of Swords just comes in with a lot of quick energy. Also, it's informative. It's 411. The sword is communication. Okay, so if this is anything lending over into Saturday, it's the Knight of Swords here with the star. And the Nine of Cups has led you to be safe, secure. Also, too, you could be very artful at this time. You could be like writing things down more than usual, maybe journaling. That could be something exciting, too, because you get to see how much you've changed in the Nine of Cups. And what I mean by journaling is like heavy diarying of your journey. Okay. I see something here with also potentially some of you are getting uh, into a hobby over the weekend. You might be occupying your time with something very fun, okay? Um, even here like bike riding, I also get physical sports for you. Can I see what the higher messages are of today? Beyond three of cups, okay, so you're walking into environmental changes. You might be getting together with friends that need you, need your support. And that's why you had this card. You had let your friends help you. You might have a lot of social gatherings this weekend or it's expected for you to go. Three of cups, what else is in the current? The seven of swords, okay. And the knight of wands. There's somebody romantic that definitely does want to get together with you. I make no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The three of cups is definitely this guy right here. Somebody likes to have attachment to you, Libras, and even if it means physically seeing you, it's important. And I think this is more of a newer relationship, Knight of Wands to the Three of Cups, okay? Um, this Seven of Swords, we're going to look at real quick. What's the Seven of Swords? What is that lies, deceit? Sometimes, too, it's somebody trying to pull the wool over your eyes with the Seven of Swords. This one's like a calm Seven of Swords, but they're planning uh, near this, I guess the swords are out of the chest and they're sort of planning together what their next steps are. It's very strategic seven of swords card. Five of cups is somebody who had a falling out with you. Five of cups could actually be their sign. They could be water of some kind, maybe more a Scorpio or a Cancerian because this five of cups card is coming in as more of a real water sign that you're connected to, or this is your own energy. Can I see the Five of Cups person? Are they also the Three of Cups? No, they are not. 
but they'd like to convey that they've changed. They're showing up in King of Pentacles energy. This is what happens when they feel this way in the past, Libras. You're going from the Five of Cups to the King of Pentacles. This person wants to show that they're stable energy. If you look at the King of Pentacles, you wouldn't say no typically to this kind of a person in a reading, right? Energetically, that's how they want to appear to you. So Libras, this one's probably going to be a bonus because I really want to find out if this is attached to this season, particularly Christmas. Uh, so this one will be our bonus today. And then Taurus also has a reading as well. I do want to thank you if this was your reading. Let me know. I love to hear if this is partly your story or even some of the signs were. Thank you again.